So tell me about the inception of this project. What inspired you to pursue this idea? What put it on your radar? Um, so I wanted to make a film about um, teenagers in love on the backdrop of technology. We started doing some research and found um, these meet and greets that were happening where girls were paying money to um, go and spend uh, FaceTime like in person with their online crush. So um, I went to a couple of those meet and greets and I was like, what is this world? I have to unpack this. And also just the amount of emotions that existed when these girls would show up. Um, I, I kind of wanted to start there and move backwards and understand like how these girls became so obsessed and fell in love with um, the guys that they were following. Obviously there's a, a surplus of outlets now for young creative or uh, rising comedians. Um, so. It, it's kind of overwhelming and I'm wondering if you can talk about how uh, much of a, a crutch technology can be as well as a, a, b a benefit. Yeah, I think that a lot of people think that um, everybody has access to everything now because everyone has the internet, so they skip a lot of things and they just think that like I can have all the things that these other people have um, through having access to all like these live stream and social media platforms. But in reality, um, there's a lot more that goes into it, and um, the people that actually succeed off these platforms are like few and far between. So um, I think that it's it's a misconception, and I think that that sort of misconception has uh, created this sort of world where a lot of people have made that their goal, but it's not really attainable goal. Um, what was the most surprising thing about the YouTube influencer culture? It's actually the live stream influencer. Live, live, it's li live yeah, it's stream. live stream okay. world. Um, I think the most surprising thing was how young everyone is and how dedicated they are to like the, the industry part of it, where they're like interested in making money off of it, going full time you know, putting um, pressure on themselves to go live all the time and they, they're aware of all the things that happen if they don't. Oh, you don't go live one time? Okay, well nobody's going to follow you. And so sort of putting that um, need for constant um, constant fan base growth is a really bizarre thing to have at such a young age. It's not like you're just living your normal life. You're sort of chasing this external validation. Have you noticed that commodifying yourself like that has had an impact on some of the the young people that you've had a chance to speak to? Or absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I think that it um, you you sort of become like part of this this economy, and you want to give yourself to it, and so you trust other people, and you trust what they say, and you're really young, so there's like a lot of things that can go wrong. What do you hope uh, this film may add to the conversation, to um, or help in things go right in the future? I think that um, this film is going to show a lot of people what teens are actually doing. Um, I think that like teenagers have this like secret life that um, a lot of people that maybe aren't living it with them don't know about, and I think the film definitely has access to that. And um, I hope people kind of just think about what um, the next generation is um, is growing up around, um, whether they think it's good or bad or whatever. It's sort of just an experience of like what these people's lives are like um, and one person's story of like how it affected him. And the film seems representative of the good side of this argument which is um, the democratization of sharing your voice, just accessibility and freedom of speech, right? It is good and bad. Yeah, it's definitely like um, the good side of uh, sort of how someone who doesn't have access to much can sort of chase a dream, but um, they can be met with some harsh reality because it's a business they're trying to enter that's fueled by like a large economy. And I think that um, for like a young person from you know like, the middle of nowhere, that can be a, a lot to handle and it can have an impact on them. Great.